Hey guys, Thanksgiving is just a few days away, and if you're serving this meal buffet style, I thought it could be helpful to give you a few of my tips for how to create a functional buffet. Okay, so first up, I think it's important to remove any chairs that might be around your buffet table. So we always turn our dining room table into our buffet because we eat outside during Thanksgiving, thanks to the California weather. So we take all the chairs and just distribute them around the house, or you can also tuck them in a bedroom as well. Next, I take my centerpiece that I'm gonna use and I place it in the middle of the table. Now, if I'm doing something low, like a bowl of fruit, I then like to flank it on either side with something high, like a bud vase with just a blooming branch. Then next, I think it's really helpful to look at all the recipes that you're going to be making for Thanksgiving and assign a serving platter to them. You can do that easily with a post-it and you just wanna put what serving platter you're gonna use for what dish. Then you wanna take all those dishes and make sure they fit on your buffet. <laughs> I know this sounds like common sense, but I can't tell you how many times I've planned out a great buffet only to find that all the platters I wanna use don't actually fit on the table at the same time. So it is a good exercise to go through. Now my tip when it comes to serving platters is to keep it simple and go with basic white because you can do so much by adding interest just in the form of different shapes and different sizes. I find that over the years I've collected so many serving platters that all mix and match together because they all share the same color. I also like to mix and match the styles. So I'll have something long and contemporary mixed with something fancy and French. I'll throw in some vintage pieces here and there and also use pieces that look like they could have been hand thrown. So if you're collecting serving pieces over the years, just keep it to one color and mix and match with the shapes. It's also a good idea to have a few covered pieces as well because that's great for things like stuffing or rice or things that you don't wanna dry out. Then I start to think about the flow of the meal and how I want the dishes to kind of play out along my buffet table. So because it's Thanksgiving and turkey really is the star of the show, I do like to put that first. And then anything that goes with the turkey, whether it be gravy or cranberry sauce, I'll put that next to it. And basically what you wanna do is place all of your platters and dishes on the table and then take a post-it and put it on the platter so that it'll say turkey, sweet potatoes, stuffing. And what that will do is keep you really organized when you're in the throw of the crescendo preparing all of this meal and you have lots of guests around. It'll also help those guests pitch in when they're running around the kitchen trying to help you and they'll say, what should I do with the stuffing? They'll know exactly where to put it. And then the other thing that I like to do ahead of time is to assign a serving spoon or fork to each platter or casserole dish. That way you're not rummaging around all of your drawers looking for it while the food is hot. It's all there ready to go. And my philosophy when it comes to buffet is it should be a one hand scoop serve. Because think about it, your guests are there with their plate. They really only have one other hand to get in there and serve themselves. If they have to put their plate down and use two serving pieces to actually serve themselves, it can really clog up the line and create a traffic jam. So it's better to just one hand scoop and go. Then I also like to place the bread basket at the end of the table because I find that people at that point have a really full plate and it's really easy to just pop a little roll and put it on the side. All right, you guys, so there you have it, my top tips for keeping your buffet nice and functional and stress-free. And if you need any last-minute recipe ideas to fill up that buffet, I've collected them all in a playlist. The link is in the description, and there you can see some of my favorite Thanksgiving recipes. All right, you guys, I will see you back here next week where we are going to dive right into Christmas. I'll see you then. Bye.